In this segment here, I'm going to show you how to rewind the alternator form for Sportster. The first thing you want to do is orientate one pole that's going to go toward the plug hole where the wires pass through the primary case. Uh, what I've done is taken a piece of nylon string and uh, made me a little anchor point. Now, I'm going to show you how this is series wound. You can do this for a fraction of the cost. Uh, I'm going to use a .060 magnet wire when I do this in three phase. But uh, it equivalents out to a uh, 15 AWG uh, magnet wire. Now the magnet wire comes in different uh, grades as far as temperature, as far as uh, resistance to uh, chemicals and stuff like that. So you have to make sure that you get the right one. But uh, one word of caution, some of the insulation that's uh, put on these magnet wires are pretty doggone tough. So it makes it hard to make a good connection. So sometimes you're going to have to mechanically uh, braid that thing down till you get the bright copper. If not, it will not take a solder. Uh, I don't plan on soldering mine. I plan on using crimp, but this is the way you, you do it. This is series wound. You take your uh, magnet wire. It doesn't matter if you start clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm going to go clockwise. So I'm going to go around the form. Now, I'm only going to do halfway, but the original setup has four layers. One going up, one going down, one going up, one going down. So this is my first layer up. Now you do want to get your magnet wire as uh, tight as you can. Uh, the varnish insulation, as long as you don't scrape it on something uh, sharp, Usually pretty doggone tough. Okay, I got my first one down. I went clockwise. So, my next one has to be counterclockwise. So I cross over. And I start winding going up. Now these little woolly buggers here don't look like it takes much wire. But each one of these little poles takes about six feet of wire to go for the form. So you figure out how much wire you're going to need. You got 12 poles at 6 uh, feet per pole. And you can get an idea of what you need to buy. On this form here, I'm going down on my second wire uh, run down. Okay. Now... I went counterclockwise. The next one I'm going to have to go clockwise. And you do the same thing all the way around till you get back to this one. You'll have two wires sticking out. Uh, make sure when you make your connection you got a good electrical connection. Uh, however you want to terminate it. You terminate it back to the original wiring going to the regulator. It's AC. doesn't matter which wire goes to which wire on the regulator. Now, the alternator uh, will perform just as well as the stock Harley-Davidson, but now you've done it yourself. It saved you a ton of money, and if you want to get into the th three-phase aspect of it, I do have one coming up. I'll show you how to do this thing in three-phase, and uh, I'll most probably show you how you can make your hillbilly uh, diode block and uh, regulator. Uh, from standard uh, GM alternator parts.